Hello, it explorers. Thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another exciting and informative video on our YouTube channel. If you are joining us for the first time on this channel, we talk about travel, investing, and also informative content within the African continent. Today, I want to give you a number of reasons why you should consider investing and doing business in the Republic of Zambia. Zambia has experienced an enormous growth and transformation in recent years. But today, I'm going to point out into those sectors and those metrics which give you a better understanding as to the reason why you should consider investing in the Republic of Zambia. So without any more delay, let's just dive straight into it. Zambia has recorded several favorable microeconomics and also growth indicators for over a decade. The average gross domestic products growth rate of just over 6% has anchored by great and good performance in mining, agriculture, manufacturing, service and also construction sectors. During this period, the country's average GDP growth rate has also been generally higher than they achieved in the sub-Saharan African region. In addition to this, the country attained the lower middle income status in 2010 and by 2015, its per capita GDP had reached just over 1,800 US dollars. Moving ahead, with regards to foreign direct investment in Zambia, inflows into Zambia rose from just over 72 million US dollars as of 2008 and higher of up to 2,100 million US dollars that looking at 2013, before reducing to just 1.3 million as of 2014. As of 2014, looking at the growth moving to uh, recent years, there has been an international price of primary commodities were generally low and also temporarily affected the country's export earnings and some macroeconomic indicators. However, from 2016, Zambia has a total of uh, just over 1.8 billion in investment pledges uh, across the various economic sectors over the processing and over the past six months. The energy sector registered the highest um, amount of uh, pledges investment, followed by the agriculture and manufacturing sector. This presents an increase of just over 20% compared with a 1.5 billion investment pledges recorded in the first half of 2015, which has moved to recent transformation with, with regards to uh, development and growth in Zambia. Looking at other aspects, it should also be noted that, as a result of Zambia's business environment reform, the country is now ranked 8th in Africa, 5th in the Sub-Saharan African and also Southern African Development Community, which is called as SEDAC, and the 4th in the Common Market for East and Southern Africa, the COMESA, in terms of ease of doing business. Furthermore, Zambia is ranked the 8th most competitive country in Africa on the Global Competitiveness Index. Recently, Zambia was ranked 7th by Forbes, by Forbes magazine as the best country for doing business among 54 African countries. In this particular area of trade, Zambia records a positive trade balance of just over 300 million US dollars a few years ago as well as increase in non-traditional exports over the years from just over 1.3 million US dollars a few years ago looking at 2016. Uh, to over 350 something million as of 2018. Copper and cobalt are among Zambia's main exports, while non traditional exports include cotton, coffee, fresh flowers, butter, tobacco, and also uh, gems, and also maize, and among other very important commodities that are transported and shipped out of this amazing African country. Zambia is also eligible for export duty-free goods to the United States under the African Growth and Opportunity Act, which is also abbreviated as AGOA. The Act allows eligible countries from Sub-Saharan Africa to export over 6,400 goods to the United States of America. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Zambia is an aspiration country. It has a vision to grow as we consider that it's a transformation and a very stable country in the African continent. A seamless political transition without any issue. Moving from the previous president to the new president, we all are looking how Zambia will become transformative 
and also engaging the global community in terms of attracting global investors in doing business in this African country. In doing so, the country has set the 2030s vision for growth. The Zambian people's aspiration and vision is to make the country a prosperous middle-income nation by 2030. It is in this regard that the Zambian government came up with a national long-term plan known as the Vision 2030, which long-term development policy and scenarios at different points for which the next 20 years should be where they should be engaging. The Vision is being operationalized through the five-year development plan and the annual budget in the country. The socio-economic development objectives enshrined in us of the 2030s vision is to attain the sustained annual real growth of 6%, uh, looking at up to 8% uh, percent, uh, moving up to recent years. And considering that, Zambia want to grow up to 9% uh, by the 2022 and 10% and also extending this growth to a higher height to move Zambia to a category that the country will feel that it could attract more investors. Other objectives will include to attain and maintain moderate inflation rate of just 5%, to reduce national poverty headcount to less than 20% of the population, to reduce economic inequality, measured a Gini coefficient and also less than 40%, to provide secure and access to safe water and improved sanitation facilities of just over 100% of population across the country, to attain educational to all aspects and providing equitable access to quality and health care to uh, by 2030. In doing so, the seventh national development plan is something that Zambia has put together following the expiration of their previous plan, which was the ROSPND 2016 plan. The government spearheaded the formulation of seventh development and national investment corporation to move to 2021. The plan departs from the sectoral-based planning to integrate multi-sector approach under the team accelerating development efforts towards the growth by 2030 without leaving anyone behind. Zambia is considering developing its other sectors. The formulation of the plan was to guide the national planning to make Zambia become scalable in terms of attracting different investors in a whole number of sectors. Arising from this, there are different sectors that the country consider to improve in a number of ways. The plan will bring about inclusive development without leaving anyone behind, achieving more than less resources through integration, coordination and development effort. This is a very important achievement taking into account regional global development agendas such as the indicative strength and also strategic development for Zambia which is a comprehensive development and implementation framework guided by the regional agenda to the point out in Southern African Comesa and in different aspects with regards to growth. Zambia has also placed high premium on implementation in different sectors, not just in mining, and turning around in different realization and strategic objectives for 2030, which is the goal that the government is setting, because it takes an integrated approach actualization of this development plan for 2030 therefore these to be achieved and implementation there are a number of things that must be considered the implementation to diversify the economy away from mining the plan will also enhance program for social protection implementing employment creation interventions and that will reduce informality and improve decent work conditions with special focus on rural areas. In finalizing this, to re-emphasize the importance and also strategic mining sector, tourism, hard work and also reduction of employment and the importation of foreign products and improving incentive structures to remove binding and constraints in doing business in Zambia, institutionalized resort-based management in all sectors and making sure that investors who come to the country have the opportunity to do business. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. That's all what we got for you with regards to Zambia. If you are from Zambia, we would like to hear from you in the comment section. Have you done business in Zambia? We would like to know what are some of the challenges that does exist in doing business in your own country. Are you from the Lusaka area? We would also like to know 
why international investors should come to your country to do business. I want to thank you for watching our channel. For those of you who have been joining for the first time, we will encourage you to check some other informative and educating content within our YouTube channel. I want to thank you. We're looking forward to meeting you soon in our next episode. So have a good day. Bye-bye.